I'd like to commence this video with a request. For those interested in receiving more premium betting tips and predictions, especially if my guidance has contributed to your success in winning bets and generating revenue, I kindly seek your support in revitalizing this channel. Your assistance plays a crucial role in bolstering my presence on YouTube. You're welcome to explore my Patreon support tier or check out my various plans. Multiple plans are available for each and every one of you seeking our premium picks. You can find the link in the bio and comment section below. Thank you for considering and supporting me. Twins vs. Pirates My team pick is Minnesota to win. On paper, these two teams have been incredibly similar in 2024, and with two red-hot pitchers, this should be a fantastic battle, with the Minnesota Twins having a tight 6-4 edge in their past 10 hit-to-hit -hit encounters. Last season, the Twins came away with a 2-1 victory in their three-game series in Minnesota, with Mitch Keller giving six strong innings, and given that Joe Ryan has never matched up against Pittsburgh, this should be a tight battle, but one that the impressive road Twins will come away victorious in. My total pick is... Under nine runs. The offense of both these teams has been playing well as of late, but in the Ryan vs. Keller matchup, they have given up a combined 16 runs over their past five starts and should dominate this exciting battle. For the Twins, the under sits at 6-4 in their past 10 overall games, with the team allowing four runs per game in their last road series before the poor outing against the New York Yankees. For the Pirates, the under is just 3-7 in their past 10, with just 4.5 runs per game scored in their past six games played at home, so expect this to be a hard-fought, low-scoring matchup. Keep it simple, take the under. Brewers vs. Tigers My team pick is Milwaukee to win. Olsen was tagged for five runs in just over five innings during his last start. He has lost twice in his prior three appearances. The Milwaukee pitching staff produced a 3.33 ERA against the Tigers during their three-game set last season. The Brewers rank in the top five in the league in both OBP and OPS, so look for them to have ample opportunity to score throughout the contest. The Brewers have excelled on the road this year, winning almost 60% of their games and taking two of three from the Red Sox in Boston during their last road series. Adding to the Tigers' woes in this contest, Milwaukee's pitching staff has produced a 3.49 ERA with a 1.28 whip in 31 games played away from their home stadium. They are currently ranked 9th in the majors in ERA on the road. Milwaukee has been excellent against the spread this year, winning at a 58.1% clip the Tigers' pitching staff has does not have much of a home field advantage so far this season producing a higher ERA in front of the home crowd than on the road. The Tigers have won under 50% of their games at Comerica Park this season. The Brewers have won five of their previous eight games. The stats and trends strongly support a Milwaukee victory in Detroit in the first game of the series. My total pick is them. Under. All three of the games played between these squads last season went under the run total, with the Brewers held to three runs or less in two of the three. The Brewers hit a lean .188 with a .385 slugging percentage during the series. Tigers pitchers rank 11th in the league in ERA with 3.78. Milwaukee also have a strong staff this year, ranking in the top 10 in several key pitching categories, so look for the Brewers to slow down the Detroit offense in this series. The Brewers have pushed or gone under the run total in four of their previous five games and their pitchers have limited their opponents to three runs or less in five straight. The Tigers' offense ranks in the bottom half of the league in several key categories at home, so the odds they score quickly in bunches against Brewers' pitchers are low. Detroit scored three runs or less in five of their last six games overall and they have gone under the run total in two of their last three games. The Tigers pitching staff has limited their opponents to two runs or less in three of their last five games at Comerica Park. Most signs point to a lower scoring affair in Detroit on Friday. Braves vs. Nationals My team pick is Braves minus 1.5 runs The Braves lost three of four games to the Nats two series back, but they have won three of their last four games while Washington has dropped their last four games. 
The Nationals have only totaled six runs in their last two games and they only scored two runs in losing game one of this series. They will not do much at the dish in this game, as Sale will bounce back from his worst start of the season. Atlanta's lineup is not the feared one it was last season and it, obviously, does not help they lost reigning MVP Acuna Jr. They will get some runs in this game, but not many facing Irvin, who pitched great against them in his start before the last one. I look for a similar score in this game as the last one, and like that game the Braves will get the W. Also like that game they will win by at least two runs, so take the run line to get better odds. My total pick is... Under 8 runs. The total for game 1 of this series went under and that is the pick I am leaning towards in this game. The Nationals only scored 2 runs in losing the opener of this series and have only totaled 6 runs in their last 3 games and they will not get much in this game as Sale will pitch well, as usual, and bounce back from his worst start of the season. Irvin has pitched well as of late and had a great start in the one before the last one tossing 6 scoreless innings against the Braves. The Atlanta lineup will get some runs in this one, but not many. This game will be more of a pitcher's duel, which is WNY the under is the pick. Orioles vs. Rays My team pick is Tampa Bay win Aaron Civale has a 2-0 record with an ERA of 5.48 and 17 strikeouts in 4 appearances versus the Orioles in his career. In Cole Irvin's start against the Rays on June 2nd, he allowed two runs and eight hits in six innings pitched, but the Orioles recorded a loss with a final score of 3-4. The Orioles has a better team on paper, but Tampa Bay is coming off a two-day break and is going to want revenge against the Orioles after their series loss last week. My total pick is... Over 8 run. The Baltimore Orioles have an over-under record of 6-3-1 in their last 10 games. The Tampa Bay Rays have an over-under record of 11-3 as underdogs at home this season. Tampa Bay coming into this game is going to be well-rested and should come out swinging for the fences. Baltimore will thrive on offense as they have all season and as a result should push us over out total. Dodgers vs. Yankees My team pick is Yankees to win these are arguably the best two teams in the entire sport so the differences are going to be magnified. The ability to hit well right away could be the difference and there is a significant difference as New York is best in the sport with a .962 team OPS in the first inning while Los Angeles is third with a .842 team OPS in the opening frame. The Yankees' biggest weakness this season has been the amount of double plays that they have into but Yamamoto is more of a strikeout pitcher than ground ball pitcher. In 19 situations where Yamamoto had a double play chance, he only was able to get it twice. My total pick is... Under 9 runs. These have been two of the best bullpens throughout the season as the Yanks are second in MLB with a 2.97 reliever ERA while the Dodgers are right behind them in third place with a 3.03 bullpen ERA so far. Both starting pitchers also have shown the ability to limit the amount of hits they give up as Yamamoto has a .236 opposing batting average this year, while Poteet is sitting with a .220 batting average against thus far. All in all, go with under 9 runs in this game as these pitching staffs should be able to put zeros on the board against one another. Cubs vs. Reds My team pick is Chicago Moneyline Steel has had less action than Lotolo this season, but he's proven to be more reliable and has hurled some of his best on the road this season. As for the offenses, Chicago has tended to hit better on the road while the Reds have been weaker at home. Steel has thrown well against the Reds in the past and his strong road OBA should keep the Reds at bay here. My total pick is under 9 runs. Both of these offenses saw their overall hitting metrics decline in May and they also both sit bottom 5 when it comes to hits per game. As mentioned, Steele has tossed well against the Reds in the past and the high strikeout rate from the Reds should prove to be a tailwind for Lotolo. With the low extra base hit rate, both of these teams are often closing innings out with runners stranded. Don't expect to see too many fireworks here. Guardians vs Marlins my team pick is Guardians to win. 
there is a significant difference between the production from the Cleveland Guardians and the Miami Marlins, similar to what their records indicate heading into this game. When looking at the starting pitching splits, there is a bit of a difference as Logan Allen is 4-3 with a 4.84 ERA and a .293 opposing batting average in 35.1 innings, 7 games on the road. Compare that to Ryan Weathers as he is 1-2 with a 5.33 ERA and a .259 batting average against in 27.0 innings, 5 starts at Lone Depot Park this year. When diving into the how these bullpens have been pitching, there is a massive gap as the Guardians are best in Major League Baseball with a 2.38 reliever ERA while the Marlins are 19th in the sport with a 4.13 bullpen ERA up to this point. The offenses throughout the previous 11 games shows a large difference as well as Cleveland is scoring 5.91 runs per game while Miami is averaging 3.09 runs per game. My total pick is over 7.5 runs. When looking at how these hitters have been performing with runners in scoring position, the Guardians are best in the MLB with a .886 team OPS in those situations while the Marlins are 21st in the majors with a .699 team OPS with runners in scoring position. These teams are also doing well in terms of stealing bases and getting the extra base as Cleveland is 7th in the sport with 57 stolen bases on 78 attempts while Miami is 18th in the entire MLB as they have been able to record 34 total stolen bases entering Friday's game. Neither starting pitcher has been able to step up and get the ability to overwhelm the opposing hitters as they are going to give up runs.